Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have the 50 questions you've never been asked tag. I was tagged by Liz Schubert and Steve Partridge and I am stood on the creakiest floorboard in my bedroom. <sighs> if you hear any shouting, it's probably people. There are people in this house and they like to argue with each other apparently. Anyway, <sighs> the first question here is, what's your favourite candle scent? I have a gingerbread candle I'm particularly fond of, so we'll say that. Question two. Which female celebrity do you wish were your sister? I have a sister, so none. Three. Which male celebrity do you wish were your brother? I have three brothers. I don't need another one. Four. How old do you think you'll be when you marry? Um, well, once again, marriage kind of like needs this whole thing of like a relationship and... I'm not really sure that I, like, get on with the whole idea of marriage, so, you know, maybe sometime in the next 50 years. Five. Do you know someone who is a hoarder? Yes, my mother. Six. Can you do the splits with this body? No. Seven. How old were you when you learned to ride a bike? Probably about seven. Eight. How many oceans have you swum in? Or swam in? None. I can't swim. Um and kind of don't want to be paddling in any sort of ocean, really. Nine, how many countries have you visited, including Wales? Three. Ten, is anyone in your family in the army? There are people in my family who used to be, but currently, no. Eleven, what would you name your daughter if you had one? And twelve is what would you name your son if you had one? So let's bulk these together and just say Fred. Thirteen, what's the worst grade you got on a test? You. I got a U. In fact, the worst one I got was sociology because I didn't know the exam was happening. And so I was walking towards like my class and someone said, no, you're not going that way, you're coming this way. So I had to rush and find my seat number and find out I was doing an exam. Never, never skip classes is all I can say. 14. What was your favourite TV show as a kid? Power Rangers. That was the one. That was the action and the adventure that I needed. 15. What did you dress up as for Halloween when you were 8? I did Halloween once. I dressed as Draco and Malfoy's father. Not that you could tell because I just wore a bin bag. 16. Have you read any Harry Potter, Hunger Games or Twilight? Read the entirety of the Harry Potter series a few times. Read the first two books in the Hunger Games trilogy. Didn't like the third so I didn't continue. And I've read all of Twilight. 17. Would you rather have an American or British accent? So, firstly... I don't think there's one, like, American accent the same as there's not one British accent. So let's just say British, but here I'm talking, like, Northern England. Like, the voice I've got now. I don't want another. 18. Did your mother go to university? No. 19. Are your grandparents still married? No, because whilst I still have two grandmothers, both their husbands are dead. 20. Have you ever taken karate lessons? No. 21. Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Yes. I used to use his image as an avatar on any website I was part of. In fact, do I have it here? I got sent this nice little notebook off my friend Liz, not the Liz who tagged me, for my birthday. It's got Kermit as Freddie Mercury on it. I know who he is. 22. What was the first amusement park you visited? I'm just going to say Gulliver's World. Don't particularly care for them. You know, not for me. 23. Which language would you like to be fluent in? Italian. 24. Do you spell it grey with an A or grey with an E? And it's with an E. 25. Is your father bald? Nobody's getting there. 26. Do you know triplets? Yes. 27. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Neither. Titanic goes on too long. It should start where... I mean, we all know what's going to happen. Just start with the boat plowing into that iceberg and just kill the lot. And The Notebook, never seen it. 28. Have you ever had Indian food? Yes. Do I like it? No. 29. What's the name of your favourite restaurant? Uh, I don't have one. 30. Have you ever been to Nando's? No. 31. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? No. 32. What would you, your parents have named you if you'd been the opposite gender? My mother isn't very good with names, so I have both of my father's names but switched back to front. Um, so his middle name is Charles, so I imagine that because she can't think of anything, I probably would have just been called Charlie. So, the name I have now. What's your nickname? Charlie. Um, some people have tried calling me Chaz in the past, but it just frustrates me greatly. 
Um, my brother and sister constantly rechristen me, so currently they're calling me Raymond, but um, it can be anything. 34. Who's your favourite person in the world? My nephew. 35. Would you rather live in the country or the city? The country. I like the quiet, I like the peace, and I like the idea of being completely away from everybody. 36. Can you whistle? No. 37. Do you sleep with a nightlight? No. 38. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Of course I do. I didn't get to this size by not eating breakfast. 39. Do you take any daily pills or medication? Yes. Too many to list here. 40. What medical condition do you have? Okay, well let's just go with this. I have asthma, I have hypermobile joints, I have a bit of arthritis in my knees, my bones have worn away in my knees, and yeah, there's quite a, there's quite a lot going on with this body. Um, 41. How many times have you been to the hospital? Um, a lot, you know, you go, I've had a lot of extended family die in hospital. 42. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yes, it's one of my sister's favourite films. 43. Where do you buy your jeans? From the charity shop. I'm not going and paying, like, full extortionate amounts of money for clothes that have been sewn by poor little defenceless children in Malaysia. No, I'm just going to get them from the charity shop. 44. What's the last compliment you got? Um, it was someone telling me that the way I read my book was amazing last night. Um, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Yes, and it is terrifying and I, some, I am really not enjoying the dreams I'm having this week because they all involve death. 46. What flavour tea do you enjoy? Well, I just like standard English breakfast tea, but if we're looking for something herbal, let's go licorice and peppermint. 47. How ma many pairs of shoes do you currently own? I currently own two pairs of shoes, and it really annoys me because I feel like I should only have one, and I only bought this other pair of boots that I've shown in a previous video because I thought I could wear them to poetry readings. Otherwise, I just want the one. I don't see why you need so many different pairs of clothes. Like, I have one pair of trousers, I, which are jeans. I don't know why why we need so many. 48. What religion would you raise your children to practice? Hmm. Personally, at this moment in time, I wouldn't raise them to have any religion, but should they choose to, you know, develop their own beliefs when they go to school, that's perfectly fine. I don't have any, so whatever comes along, comes along. 49. How old were you when you found out Santa wasn't real? According to my mother, I never actually believed in Santa, which made it very difficult when I was ever around other children because I would constantly tell them that he didn't exist. I can remember knowing that he didn't exist because um, we didn't have a chimney. We lived in a flat, so I was like, well, he definitely doesn't exist then. Um, I've always been a bit too sensible and pragmatic for my own good. And 50 was why do you have a blog, which everyone's changed to why do you have a YouTube channel. And basically, just because I was very poor at blogging when I was doing that on my website, and I knew that it'd be much more simpler to record my thoughts and upload them to YouTube. Rag and bow, man. Um, than it would be to use the blog. So, that's what I did. I think that's all 50 questions. And, well, I didn't expect them to... Okay, this ragman is getting very loud, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let's tag a few people. Let's tag Dave over at Wild Reads, um, Lily of Lycaos Reads, my friend Lizzie, who I think is Lizzie Frost, but I can't be sure. Um, who else do I speak to on here? Lisa of Lisa's West Coast Reads. And because he's relatively new and I don't know that he's done this yet, let's tag Anthony Andrews. Um, there you go, five of them. I quite like that number. Anyway, if you feel like doing this tag, please feel free to do so. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, that is all.